Hi there guys, it's me, Lamer Gamer. Hope you're all doing well. So today I'll be doing an unboxing or an unpackaging of a parcel that's been sent to me by a company called Road Grips. Now this company makes silicon covers or caps for thumbsticks on analog controllers like PlayStation, Xbox, and they're even bringing out a line for the Nintendo Switch. And I've received the Gamer version two package. And in this package, there are 10 assorted styles of grip all varying of different colors, and I believe that there are some in there for the Switch as well. Also in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get your hands on it for a reduced rate using my promotional code. Now, let's see the product. So today I'm bringing you an un... packaging, I guess, of a parcel I received from Rogue Grips. Now being a PC gamer, the only times I really use controllers are when I'm playing Sea of Thieves because it's a really easy way of controlling the rowboats. It also helps me when I'm doing battle mechanics as well, so you might see me using an Xbox controller there. But also, I play a lot of PlayStation, especially with the new Final Fantasy VII coming out, which I'm so excited to do. I did a quick playthrough of the demo the other day, which you can probably find in the link down below or in a little tab tag card thingy up here. And as it did come from America, it did take a little while to get to me. However, now they're here, I'm ready to open the bag and see what's inside. I'll just open the bag, I'm gonna get rid of the envelope. And in here are loads of little rubber grips, which I'm gonna get to having a look at now. They already look really cool with all the different exciting colours in there. Oh, they do feel nice. Picked up the pink one. I'm gonna lay them out on the table and I'm gonna show you the ones I've got. We've been given 10 different pairs of grips. Eight for an analog controller similar to the PlayStation 4 or the Xbox One. And we've also got two pairs, who are a lot smaller, which it took me a little while to figure out what they were for, but I believe they're actually for the Switch controller. Let's stick them on the controllers and see how they feel. Okay, I brought the camera around this angle just so you can get a bit closer and to be able to see the controllers that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna use my PlayStation 4 controller and I'm gonna use the green Rogue Grips cover. So I'm coming a bit closer and show you how these go together in real time. It's going to take me ages to do now, isn't it? So also trying to do all this whilst looking at a camera as well. Hopefully you'll find it a lot easier to put on. Okay, that wasn't so hard. There we go, it's on. Is there a little bit poking out? Yeah, there's a little bit poking out the back. There we go. So it's all on. And obviously the grip you're getting here it, it does feel more grippy, I, especially with these bobbly bits. You've definitely got more grip rather than your finger like sliding off to the edge here. Like your finger stays pretty much in the center of the grip. So I quite like that. Just going to put the other one on so it doesn't look too weird with only one grip on. There we go. Two on. Nice. Now the smaller grips, like I mentioned, are for this Nintendo Switch. So I'm gonna put one of each color on that I have. I've got the red one that I'm probably gonna put the black grip on. So I'm just gonna stick it on now. That was pretty easy. Don't know if I got that in shot actually. For the blue, I'm gonna stick the green one on or the white and the clear and green cap on. And just like this. So sorry, there you go. Just put it on over the edge. Slide it over the top, and now, now it's going mental because I pressed the button. And just like that, it is on. I find it strange that these grips don't have the bubbles around the outside. There's like lots of multiple smaller bubbles on them, if the camera can focus. I'm calling them bubbles. It might be the wrong word. And if there is a correct terminology for these little lumpy bits on the controller, then please do let me know. However... That's what I'm going to be calling them. So yeah, I find it kind of peculiar that this, um, these particular grips have bubbles all over the surface that aren't as prominent as the one for the analog controllers, like the PlayStation, where they actually raise up and they keep your finger in the middle. I'm guessing there's a reason they've designed it that way. I personally would have thought that it would be better to have bubbles on the outside, but you can still feel the grip on them. Let's start playing a few games with it. So now I'm going to tell you how to get 25% discount on any order you make with Rogue Grips. And all you have to do 
is put the words Lamer Gamer in the checkout. And that is your discount code for 25% off any order you make at Rogue Grips. So then I went on to test the grips out. I played Titanfall 2 and I played the Final Fantasy 7 demo on the PlayStation to test out the grips on the larger controller. For the Switch, I played Super Mario Party. Here are the results. So I've done the test on the controllers. I played Final Fantasy 7 with the Rogue Grips on and I found them very good. My thumbs are able to stay right in the middle of the controller and it's still on. <laughs> Just shows how quickly I've come straight from the computer to give you my analysis of the PlayStation. As I'll be playing PlayStation a lot, and this is probably where I'll play the most competitive, as I don't have the Nintendo Online subscription, I'm probably not gonna be playing very competitively on the Nintendo. However, uh, with PlayStation, I will be playing Titanfall Online. I find that these grips are really good. They help you center your fingers to the middle and the bubbles will let you know if your finger is starting to slip off. But I find that the bubble also helps you keep that traction on the controller. I highly recommend them for controllers like the PlayStation and Xbox. When it comes to the Switch, with the smaller grips, they're also still useful. You're very aware of where the thumb pads are. They're not as prominent as the ones on the bigger controllers. However, I do like them. They look stylish and they, they complement the Switch colors and design really well. Essentially, you are paying for a silicone grip that will go over the end of your thumbstick. However, I do feel that the grip that it does offer is worth the charge. So I went for the Game Pack version two, which comes with seven pairs of grips, plus two that aren't even released in the store yet. They're all of assorted sizes and colors, and I didn't get to pick the colors. So that's one thing I didn't get to choose. Alternatively, if you didn't want to buy a whole pack of grips, you can buy them for two pound online. However, please take into account that they're shipping and stuff like that, as it does come from America. I would recommend purchasing more grips, then you get more bang for your postage. So I'm gonna go back to the PC, I'm gonna put on the webcam, and I'm gonna give you my overall review of how this has gone. Just before we conclude, I would like to say that this is not a sponsored video, and all the opinions in it are my own. Thank you to Rogue Grips for allowing me to do this review and unboxing of their product. I really enjoyed doing it, and it's now nice to have the option to customize my controller even more with fantastic colours as well as giving me that competitive gaming edge. And don't forget to save 25% on any order you make at Rogue Grips. Enter the code LAMERGAMER in the checkout. And that's it. You save 25% and you get your grips. So in all, I think the Rogue Grips are a very good product, especially when using it for controllers like on the PlayStation and Xbox. When I was using the PlayStation controller, I did feel that my thumbs were able to locate the centre of the analogue sticks a lot easier than they would normally. That way my thumbs weren't likely to slip off the edge. That being said, unless you're playing really competitively, you may not notice a difference, but if you are really serious about your gaming, I would recommend this just to give you that little bit of an edge over people that may not be using grips at the moment. That way you can line up that shot and get that kill before they can get you. For the Nintendo Switch, the different design means that I didn't get that nice concave feeling when I put my thumbs in the grips. I think this is down to the fact that the Nintendo Switch analog sticks don't have that recessed button feel, so there's nothing really to go off. So the only way you can improve that design is to make the grip thicker, which could make it a bit less comfortable for the user. So in all, I think they have done a good job given the fact that the analog thumbstick hasn't got a recess in it. I'm gonna be using my Rogue Grips for whenever I play on my PlayStation or my Switch but I do use an Xbox One controller when playing Sea of Thieves on my PC. That's because I feel the game lends itself to controller a lot more than it does mouse and keyboard with things like rowing boat actions and stuff using the shoulder buttons. If you've enjoyed this review video, please feel free to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And if you are subscribing, don't forget to hit that bell and that way you'll get notified every time I go live or post a video. Anything more you want to add to me from eight hours ago? I'm gonna go back to the PlayStation and carry on playing. See you online, cheers.